Hello, let's do an example of what happens when a monopoly market structure changes. So back in 2015, uh, Universal Pictures re-released Back to the Future, and Back to the Future, a uh, popular movie back in 1986, so, or 85, I suppose, uh, and people actually paid money to go see a movie they had already seen. Okay, so let's sketch out the, the demand, the marginal revenue, and marginal cost. Uh, they made $1.7 million in revenue that weekend, okay? And uh, we can actually use a, a graphical analysis to figure out uh, what that might look like. So here we've got, uh, we've got price, we've got quantity, and we've got some downward sloping demand curve, right? So here's our demand curve, and here's our marginal revenue okay so marginal revenue uh, comes in there and the additional we have to think about this for a second the additional cost to show the movie on an additional theater uh, it's gonna really be the same they don't have to pay any actors they don't have to pay anything it's just the cost of showing an additional movie so whatever that happens to be uh, we're gonna end up with this constant straight there. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is marginal cost. So at profit maximization, they produced this amount, and this is a quantity, okay? Now let's assume that uh, they got people to pay $10 per ticket on average, right? So the average price here is $10, and remember that the total revenue in this case for that weekend was $1.7 million. Right, so we know that the price was ten dollars. What we don't know is the quantity. Okay, so I can divide both sides, um, or actually, we know that that this right here is one point seven million. Okay, and I can divide by ten, uh, and I should get a uh, hundred and seventy thousand quantity right because 170,000 times 10 is 1.7 million and this gives us our total revenue number okay so that's graphically there okay now this is a monopoly so what does that mean it means that uh, this area in here that I'm coloring orange is the dead weight loss okay so they probably could have showed the movie on more theaters and so the best thing for society uh, would have been out here so if there was no copyright on that movie uh, or you know the government decided that to revoke the copyright or whatever uh, then they would have priced it out here right at marginal cost uh, and there would, have, there would have been an increase in quantity okay so uh, this would be a case where we've moved from uh, a monopoly where the price is ten dollars to go see this movie to perfectly competitive where the price is going to be the same as marginal cost okay and so that might seem like a, like a somewhat silly example, but it does happen uh, actually all the time. So the market that this happens in is uh, generic drugs. So when a company patents a new drug, they're given a temporary monopoly, okay? And this marginal cost is is very is constant. So once the big cost with producing a, a pharmaceutical drug is that uh, additional or that initial research and development and then getting it through the regulatory body in the US here it's the FDA so it's it's difficult to get through there it's expensive but once you do you can mass produce that medication uh, you know very cheaply it's a it's a, a very inexpensive process they have a factories in Puerto Rico and in India right and they just crank out these pills or or uh, serums or whatever uh, over and over and over again and so the firm is able to to charge at this higher price but that eventually that patent's going to run out okay and the patent runs out and we're going to end up back in this perfectly competitive market and we're going to be able to be producing out to here okay because everybody gets that recipe so all the firms are now going to produce out to there um, and the seller loses its monopoly but the consumer gets a lower price and everybody gets the drug, right? So this has happened already with a lot of drugs. So the, many of the cheap, um, anything if they tell you at the pharmacy, it's, it's generic, right? That's what you can get. Uh, but things like Tylenol, penicillin, when penicillin first came out, it was extremely expensive. Okay, there was a technological monopoly on it. 
nowadays penicillin's actually quite cheap, right? So it's been mass produced and uh, easy to get your hands on. So uh, the monopoly can can actually change uh, into being perfectly competitive, especially in those technological monopolies. So hopefully you watched the, the other clip uh, that goes with this was right before this. As soon as Elaine gets a hold of the recipes, it now becomes public domain and she can uh, anybody can produce that soup. So he's lost his monopoly and uh, then that's how the episode ends. Okay, Other uh, things that uh, may actually help you in your, in your life here. Uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game is a song that's so old that its copyright has run out. So you could have your band and um, you could start a band called, you know, I don't know, the Price Discriminating Monopolists. That would be kind of cool. Uh, and you could do public domain songs. and uh, So you're able to do that. So there's been uh, lots of examples here. If you follow that link right there, and then Cornell University has a link of, of when all of the copyrights and patents have run out. Uh, kind of an interesting link. If you go over to Gutenberg.org, um, you can uh, actually, let's, let, me, let me go there real quick. You can actually, uh, it's called Project Gutenberg. You can just download anything that's uh, in the public domain. So they have 54,000 uh, books there. And uh, let's do, uh, maybe browse the catalog here. They usually have like a most popular, here we go, the most popular books. So these are all books that you don't need to buy them. I always get a chuckle, you know, people sell them at Barnes and Noble or an Amazon or whatever. You can just download them at no cost into your Kindle, um, anything that's, uh, it's about right around 1923 or earlier. And uh, you can also do this um, with uh, audiobooks. So there's a group of volunteers who have gone to this program called Lib LibriVox, and so they read books. You can do it too, I suppose. Uh, or you could just take a free ride and, uh, and download their audiobooks. So there's really no need to, uh, uh, to buy anything that's really old, okay? You can also uh, improve on the creation, right? So this is Pride and Prejudice. It's a classic uh, text it's in the public domain. And then this author uh, took the story and then added zombies because I guess everything's cooler with zombies. So you can do this. You can create an old uh, or take a, take an old creation, uh, spin it around, and, uh, and sell it for more, right? So sort of the, the early Disney model of, of, uh, of sales. So again, the Monopoly moving from Monopoly to perfectly competitive markets and their effects.